The stadium may be empty now, but the spoils of victory remain. The oranges left by the Louisville football players still scattered all over the field here at Rutgers as the Cardinals head to the BCS for the first time since 2006. We gonna get the oranges this year, baby! Yeah! We had a rough start, but I never had a doubt in my mind in these guys, and and that's what makes this team special. Is we never we ever we never count ourselves out, and we didn't tonight, and. This is what we get, so I love it. He's He's it. Could you have scripted a better ending to your regular season career here? No, this is incredible. Um, just the will to win, you know, overrides all obstacles in our way, and we just had that tonight. We didn't care what the score was. We we're going to win this ball game. That's what you live for. You live for the moment. You live for the big moments. And that's what you go to you know, college to play football for, you know, moments like these. And, you, know, you just cherish the moment. We didn't know at the beginning if he was going to even play or not. You know, he come up to me there in, um, in the uh, midway in the first quarter and said, Coach, I'm ready to go. And I said, just warm him up. I looked at our medical staff and I gave our medical staff, I gave him a game ball. Oranges are appropriate most seasons in the Big East, but perhaps not this year. If Kent State out of the MAC beats Northern Illinois, that would likely move the Golden Flashes up to at least 16th in the BCS rankings, creating a loophole where they would be an automatic qualifier in the BCS. That would then move Louisville instead of the Orange Bowl. The cards would go to the Sugar Bowl. In Piscataway, New Jersey, Steve Andress, WDRB Sports.